Tuh, yo. Back with another vlog. Today I'm actually going to the automated McDonald's, which I'm excited about, actually. Actually. Excited to go to the, the automated McDonald's. Her name is Janet, aka V. J. Marie and J. M. P. J. M. P. is my business, by the way. I don't know if y'all know that. If you're a new subscriber or whatever. Welcome. I try to post every. I try to post every Saturday. At least that's what I'm thinking of doing. Y'all let me know if that's a good plan. Cause I don't really know. This is my first year doing YouTube. I already have four videos up. Well, this will be number five. And the goal is to post at least once a week. So by the end of the year, I'd have like 52, 53 videos posted. And yeah. Of the year, I just um, but really not even just the start of the year. Like, I've been making a list of different ideas and things that I want to do this year, um, and then I'm just gonna document them for y'all so I can see a little bit about what life is like for me. <laughs> Yeah, get to know me on a more personal level. I mean, if, if you follow me on Instagram, that's at, at J. Marie Photography Co. on Instagram, then you can see my work there, but I don't really, I don't really go live or any of that. I plan on going live. See, that's the thing. So I plan on going live at the start of the year just utilize more of Instagram's tools um, but then I also was trying to be more personable with um, my audience like let's form so originally I was going to start in January but but I ended up not the point, the point of me going live once a month was to talk to other creatives and just kind of get their, I'm going through a tunnel, that's why it's dark, but opinions and feedback on what it's been like to be a creative and an entrepreneur. But, you know, between that, working a job, and also trying to get my own content calendar and stuff created, it's just been a struggle. So, yeah, I just, I just figured that I would start in March. about that actually decided to connect and network with other like-minded individuals that's not really the point of this video though this video is more geared towards going to the automated mcdonald's y'all so yeah i guess whenever i get um, there or get closer i'll come back See y'all. See y'all in a little bit.
actually people working here. Actually. Right. This doesn't even seem to be talking about. Okay, so here I'm just walking you through how to place your order. Um, it's pretty similar to if you were going to be placing it through Uber Eats or DoorDash, something like that. Um, it's not too much different about that. Um, it's at this point that I realized that there were people actually working in the facility. Um, so I didn't even take a picture of my bag or anything like that. People made my food. I picked my food up from a person. Um, so I guess I missed the point where they said that this was going to be a test kitchen. Um, so this location is not fully automated. Um, and I, I haven't been to a fully automated uh, McDonald's myself. So if you live in a location where they do have those, post it in the comments so that people will know where to go to actually get the, the full automated experience. The only thing automated about it was this area here where you place your order and um, then outside you as you'll see in a little bit they actually have a space for um, if you ordered ahead you can come up and then a robot arm will uh, load your food out for you um, but other than that I mean there's people making the food there's people handing you the food so yeah um, I know some people were talking about they when they went there was robots uh, driving the food around or bringing the food out to you but yeah this is not the case at least for when I went uh, it might be different for other locations or maybe earlier on in this this location's opening maybe it was like that before but yeah this is just my experience for when I went so yeah Yeah, this clip right here is just me and my brother and our, my, our other brother that's on the computer right now discussing our podcast, and that's going to be coming very soon. Uh, we're just working out some logistics, so if you're interested in that, stay tuned. What's up, y'all? Um, so, I'm back in the office, and I've been trying to figure out what to do with this big blank wall behind me. Um, as you can see, I have the other walls in the office already kind of figured out. I got an art wall, I got a plant and book wall, um, but I just have been wrecking my brain trying to figure out what to do with this area. So I think I have it figured out and I'm about to show that to you right now. So stay tuned. So the design that I'm going with for this wall is actually along the lines of a Molly mud cloth type of design. Um, I actually had my ancestry done a few years ago and found out that I am 93% or so uh, West African. So I've just been trying to connect more with um, that side of who I am. And um, until I'm able to get to Africa, I'm just trying to stay as close as I can to, to learning about my heritage and being reminded of that. So. Uh, I decided to use this pattern here. I also wanted this to have a little bit of a um, like worn design, so that's why you'll see some parts of the wall. I'm not going back over the spots that kind of look like um, the white is showing through. I just kind of wanted to look more like the cloth and less like me just painting on the wall so And that's gonna do it so stay tuned for the big reveal in three two one